Wonder Woman under attack on Hollywood Boulevard. Superman comes to her aid. Is Hollywood suddenly too violent for even the make-believe superheroes? Good evening, I'm Mark Brown. I'm Michelle Tuzzi. Eyewitness News reporter Q McRae is live on Hollywood Boulevard with details of the attack. Q. Well, Leslie, what, excuse me, uh, Michelle, when it comes to uh, the LAPD, they say they've already beefed up security and patrols in this area, and they did so back in June. But when it comes to today's incident, the two victims we're talking about are superheroes, S Superman and Wonder Woman. Now, if you're familiar with this area, you know that impersonators, character impersonators, go up to tourists and they ask them for tips for pictures. Well, the two impersonators today were not taking pictures. They were actually right across the street here taping an episode of Jimmy Kimmel Live, taping the episode that will air after tonight's newscast when they were attacked right nearby. Right here's where the hill went into my leg of the boot, and when it hit my leg, it then bounced over and hit right here where it's bruised and raised. We caught up with a battered and bruised Wonder Woman on the Hollywood Walk of Fame alongside Superman. She was literally sitting right here. These character impersonators say they were attacked by a cowboy boot wearing transient. We were shooting a bit over here at Kimmel um, for his episode tonight, and I forgot my phone at Superman's house. The assault happened right in front of the Roosevelt Hotel. She jumped up and came running after us. Got in my face and she flipped my lip and then punched me in the face. I'm then reflecting all of her boot throws. She actually hits Wonder Woman again with a boot. I reflected it and it just kind of ricocheted off my arm and it hit her in the face. She told me that uh, both me and Superman will be dead by tomorrow. A threat not taken lightly, especially after this June stabbing death at the corner of Hollywood and Highland, a popular tourist spot. A transient allegedly killed a Lindwood woman after she refused to give her a dollar after she snapped pictures of the man and two others. Her hands like this, up I like said this. no. I said please don't touch me. When attacked by a transient well known on this boulevard for her unruly behavior, Wonder Woman took the high road. Thank you, Wonder Woman, for inspiring me to do the right thing and not hit that girl back. Because I was sitting there like, what would Wonder Woman do? She wouldn't hit the crazy lady. Now, keeping with the superhero spirit and wanting the best for the citizens they protect, Wonder Woman and Superman told me they're still on the fence about pressing charges, but if they do, they're going to ask the judge to not give this transient jail time, but get her some psychiatric help. Live from Hollywood, I'm Q McRae, ABC7 Eyewitness News.